Well, hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. Just wanted to do an update for Yield Robot. As you can see, the site is no longer up and it has rugged. It actually rugged yesterday. I was meaning to do a video yesterday, but um, I just was, I was kind of out of it. I'm getting over the flu and um, <clears throat> I just wasn't up to making a video. So uh, this is about a day late. Uh, so sorry about that. But yeah, this uh, platform has rugged, I believe. The um the owner said that there was a hack in the contract. Um, I actually tried to message him yesterday, and uh, just got no reply. As a matter of fact, I, I'm surprised that his Telegram was still up. I, I figured it would it would come down, but I did message him yesterday, and he hasn't replied. And then um I just checked right before I made this video, and yeah, he pulled out. Uh, he deleted all his messages to me. Um, so yeah, this is a, a officially a rug pull, you know. So. Uh, unfortunately, that's some, some of the things we got to deal with in this space, guys. That's what we always say. Look, only put in what you can afford to lose because some of these gamble plays, they just uh, end up being rug pulls. And this was definitely a gamble play. If you watch my initial video on it, my my first introduction video, and I didn't really make a whole lot of videos on this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think um, we barely had anybody come into this. I think I had $100 in referral commissions. And uh, if you look at the compensation plan, that's there was barely anybody in it that I came that came in through my referral link, um, and we we only made I think like two videos or three videos or something like that, if that. Um, but if you watch my initial video, I definitely said this was on the higher end of the risk scale. Okay, you're getting two percent, and yeah, it was just you know it was definitely on the higher end of the of the of the uh, of the risk scale. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Uh, but yeah, it, it is what it is, guys. I mean, that's just the way, you know, it happens sometimes in this uh, in this crypto space. And, um, you know, it just goes to show you just it just reminds you that, hey, you only got to put in or you should only be putting in what you can afford to lose in these different platforms. OK, now, of course, some platforms you might feel a little bit more confident in some platforms you don't. Obviously, these platforms that are paying out two percent, three percent, five percent. You know, you only want to put in what you can afford to lose because those are a little bit, not a little bit, a lot of bit on the higher end of the risk scale, right? Some of these other platforms that maybe pay out less, not saying that they're risk free, but you know, they they're probably a little bit more sustainable with the numbers that they're they're generating. But anytime you have a platform that's paying two, three, four, five, six, ten percent a day, you know, definitely on the higher end of the risk scale. So, you know, it, it's it's more of a gamble play. It's a degen play, right? That's what it is. So. That being said, you know, that's uh that's pretty much it for Yield Robot. And uh it just uh kind of makes you appreciate, you know, some of these other platforms that have been around for a while. These platforms that have been around for a year, a year and a half. Um, you look at Drip, you know, the Drip faucet's been out for a year and nine months. Um, yes, there's been some volatility with the token, and there's you know, the, the price of the token is way down from where it was, but the fact of the matter still remains that the platform is running, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, right? Uh, never been changed, never been altered. Uh, the drip faucet contract is doing what it's supposed to be doing and it's running as it should. So it just kind of makes you appreciate when you have all these different rug pulls and I, and fortunately, you know, I, I haven't had, you know, I don't want to jinx it or anything like that, but I haven't been in too many rug pulls lately. You know, this is probably the first one in a while uh, that I've been in because I've been able to pick, you know, some, some good platforms, um, uh, there's a couple of different things that I look for in a platform. This one here was a DGEN play right from the get. From the get. So, you know, not surprised. Not surprised at all. Uh, but again, all of that just to say, put in what you can afford to lose in these different platforms. And yeah, it does make you appreciate some of these longer running platforms that have been around for a year, year and a half, coming on two years. Some of the platforms that I'm in have been out for two, two plus years. Uh, when you look at all these rug pulls that are happening in this space that uh, just makes you appreciate some of these longer lasting platforms but anyway just a quick update uh, the last update obviously for yield robot and uh, i will catch you on the next video as always guys i am not a financial advisor never take anything i say as financial advice uh, there are no guarantees in this space guys as you can see so do your own research do your own due diligence only put in what you can afford to lose guys and uh, yeah, stay diversified, spread your risks, okay? That way you can manage the risk. And whenever you get into a platform, make it your first initial goal to pull out your seed capital so you only have house money in the platform because 
if you only have profits in the platform you and you pulled out your initial deposit, essentially you removed your risk, right? Um, so yeah, follow me on Telegram, guys. I will leave a link for that down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified straight away whenever I do a brand new video. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.